Yeah. Dinosaurs. I hear that they have feathers now. Yeah. A lot, there's been a lot of evidence lately of looks of dinosaurs with feathers. And it looks like probably it all signs are pointing that most dinosaurs had some sort of feathery substance on them. You know what else has feathers now? Our intro. I'm going to put a feather, a picture of a feather. At least okay. one feather. Okay. It has one feather. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you listening to just the audio on a, on the podcast, uh, there was a picture uh, of a, a feather. There was a lot of feathers. Lot, there were millions of feathers. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. feathers. Yeah. Flowing. Mm-hmm. They flew. They flew. Colorful. They flown. They flowed. Uh, also, oh, you, that brings up a good point. Image. We we do we are on iTunes now. This mm-hmm. has, there's a podcast linked right there down below in the doobly doo. They call it. Uh, and you can listen to us audio style if you hate our ugly faces. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah, feathered dinosaurs. And it looks like most dinosaurs have feathers now, and I think there's a lot of people who don't like that idea. That's bull dinos- crap. Yeah. That's not my. That's not my dinosaurs. No. I I had dinosaurs when I was a kid. I played with them. There weren't no feathers. Yep. What are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, that's. I think a lot of people share that feeling. And even the director of the new Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World, has mm-hmm. specifically said that the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park will not have feathers. I think that's fine. I mean, it's a it's a work of fiction. Like, yeah, I mean, they could do whatever they want. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, those dinosaurs were genetically engineered. You know, it could be like, you know, they, they you know, they were genetically engineered mm-hmm. wrong, or they genetically engineered them in the way that we want them. We don't even like. know how dinosaurs sounded, you know, like, but they make sounds in the movie. Yeah. yeah. They can do what they want. We don't really know much. How do they know that they had feathers? Well, there's you know, impressions in, in the fossils. And obviously, like, not you don't get fossil feathers from every dinosaur, but you can see in the family tree if, if like, somebody's ancestor had feathers, they you know, probably had feathers, too. I get the impression that they didn't have feathers. Well, you'd be wrong. It, it is kind of silly that we attach such sentimentality to facts, like Pluto not yeah. becoming a planet, yeah. or not being a you planet know, it, anymore. It's a similar situation. Yeah. Uh, as to as you know, Pluto being demoted. Yeah, newsflash: Pluto is not a planet. Yeah, dinosaurs are being demoted to mm-hmm. big big bird, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think, I, mean, I think it really what it has to do with is that like a lot of you know paleontology and some paleontologists are probably gonna be mad at me for saying this is that there's a lot of speculation on mm-hmm. what dinosaurs did, how they, you know, how they moved, what they look like. It's and it's a lot of sort of inferring it from little evidence Mm -hmm. and when we change the way dinosaurs look and they've changed a lot you know like when we first found them people thought they was big lumbering you know dumb lizards and then you know it sort of changed into that they were like warm-blooded they're pretty active fast you Mm -hmm. know uh, movie monsters (laughs) um and when you add feathers to them it takes away from them being scary and being monsters and i think that is because we we want them to be monsters. We want there to be monsters. We Why like, do we? Why do we want there to be I, monsters? I, mean, I think we want there to be monsters because we want something to be out there that is scarier than ourselves. Oh, I don't. I actually we don't, want we to don't be want the to think of, We don't want to think of ourselves as actual the monsters. We want something else to be the monster that comes out and gets us. I want to be the scary one, Matt. I want to be the monster. What's that over there? What's that? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you're pretty scary. See? Um, See? And I think the how we view dinosaurs is a reflection of how we view ourselves. And I think the extinction theories of dinosaurs uh, shows this really well. Because back when dinosaurs were first discovered, or early 20th century or so, they were kind of, they thought they went extinct because they were too big, too dumb, too slow, things like that. And I think that sort of fed into the culture of the time, which I think... The, it, it came from the sort of social Darwinism and the sort of eugenics kind of racism that was prevalent in uh, in the sciences back then. Mm-hmm. And Racist think, scientists. Yeah, and so like it, it fed into that idea that like some organisms, some races may be inferior and are meant to go extinct. And then World War II came along, and it, that all that kind of stuff kind of went away, and it didn't. People didn't really like it anymore. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, cleansing of. A people it yeah. became not so cool. Yeah. After, but World after War II, World War II, yeah. um, is in the late seventies or so, uh, the the asteroid theory of extinction came along, mm-hmm. and you know that's the theory that an asteroid came along and mm-hmm. you know hit the Earth. That's and because 
culturally we all think that we are giant rocks floating in space? No, because oh. what was happening at that time in the late 70s, mm -hmm. we were in the midst of the Cold War. The mm -hmm. nuclear uh, war was sort of like hanging over our heads. This idea of, of dying... Hanging over our heads like an asteroid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so that theory became really popular. Yeah. And I think because it sort of, it, we, we, could, we felt that fear, you know, of that extinction. Are these all happened. your theories? That are you I, don't think I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm the first person to say the asteroid, yeah. Cold War, Cold, I feel like mm -hmm. I've heard that somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure about the other things. I'm sort of tying these all together. And now the, the theory of their extinction has sort of changed. They don't believe the asteroid happened, but mm -hmm. they don't believe it was the, the only the asteroid. Because they also, there was, at the time, there was these huge volcanoes erupting, throwing toxic gases into the atmosphere mm -hmm. and changing the environment. And it looks like the fossil record, there was, there was a, a lessening of diversity within dinosaurs. There was species loss and the, the atmosphere was being changed. Mm -hmm. And then the asteroid came and sort of like, you know, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. And, but what does that sound like? <laughs> the, the, you know, what, how does that uh, feed into our culture now? Where the the atmosphere is being changed and species are being uh, slowly oh, whittled away. Oh, it's because we are all um, starting to smell bad. No. Oh, it's it's climate change. I'm so stupid. It's climate change, and I climate think, change. So you know, we sort of see the, what we're doing to ourselves, and so we, we can and learn we to project it onto the dinosaurs. So then, what do the feathers have to do with our the, society? The feathers, I think, are making the dinosaurs not monsters. They're animals. We, is there, are there too many monsters in the world now that we don't need dinosaurs to be monsters anymore? I think... Or I, is it just that they're, they friggin' had feathers and we discovered it? Well, they had feathers and we discovered it. I just think mm -hmm. the, the... Because there's a, there's a cultural implication of, of changing how dinosaurs look. Because dinosaurs, I think, are such so symbolic in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. we, we put a lot of our cultural baggage on them. Why are dinosaurs cool? Obviously, you care a lot about dinosaurs. Look at, listen to the, the facts this guy's spouting. This guy knows. This guy loves dinosaurs more than anyone I know. He doesn't love people. He loves dinosaurs <laughs> and cats. What do you like about dinosaurs? Why do you like dinosaurs so much? I think, um, well, you know, because they're they're big. You know, they're not really like um, so size matters. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. they're they're big. They're cool. They're they're things that you don't really see anymore. You, know, <laughs> you don't really see them. <laughs> Maybe sometimes on well, a train. I mean, train. I guess, you know, it, you know, but, birds are dinosaurs, but like yeah. they're kind of the boring dinosaurs. You know, they were like big. You know, like. Mm -hmm. You know, Diplodocus, like huge, these huge things that, you know, lived a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And we don't really know anything about them. And I think one of the things I really like about them is that the when we reconstruct dinosaurs, mm -hmm. we're actually kind of throwing a narrative on them. We're kind of making up what they were. And I, I, I like that. You know, it, it's sort of a story we're making up with, we, you know, with we're inferring from Do you the like bones. being a storyteller? Yeah. And I think the dinosaurs are sort of that ultimate almost like story where we're kind of you know we're kind of make we're lying to ourselves about what they were mm -hmm. you know but you know we're trying to like find we don't we want to know what they were like and we're trying to make assumptions can but you we'll never really know what they were like so we have to sort of make up a story around them okay important question then can you make a dinosaur sound we don't know what dinosaurs sounded like that was the correct answer but do it anyway i don't know i mean like They probably sounded something like that. That sound that to me that's a pterodactyl. Oh well, it could be. And that's not a dinosaur. Nope, it's a flying reptile. <laughs> that's my version. Or because I could sound like it sounds anything. like a well, yeah. I guess it could. Sound uh oh, like a I dog. think it, my dog heard that. I heard him moving. <laughs> Her moving. Uh, let's time. It's time for that new segment of ours again, yeah. where we play the show mm -hmm. in song form. Um, we're gonna do it better this time. Don't worry. Yeah. <clears throat> Feathered dinosaur, feathered dinosaur, what do you have those feathers for? Feathered, untethered dinosaur. Dinosaur was soaring like a bird. Yeah, because they turned into birds, right? Mm -hmm. That's what happened. They like morphed into birds. Is well, that how evolution works? Long, evolved along those. Yeah, lines. I think uh, that's all for today. Yep. Leave a comment about 
Dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> what, should, what should the comment be? I don't know. Like, do you like feathered dinosaurs? Do, what do you Does think? It, is destroying dinosaurs for you? Is your childhood being yeah. torn apart? Are you upset feather about... Feather by feather? Feathered dinosaurs. And um, that's all. Check out our podcast, which is this. Th- this show, just in audio form, if you hate video. And uh, we, we still need an outro. So, outro. Outro. Pending. Uh, the outro has feathers too. Okay. Bye. Bye.